Hello and good morning, everybody. Hi, good cheers, morning, everyone. Aaron. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to everyone. This is a wonderful webinar with Maya. Yes, with my I am uh, Monique. This is Aaron. Mm -hmm. We are delighted to be here. Aaron, what type of tea are you drinking? I am drinking English breakfast tea in my Chewbacca <laughs> mug. <laughs> It is a Wookiee mug. <laughs> Fantastic. So, <laughs> early. <laughs> so the, um, what you drink tea in, this is called a mug. Yes, yeah. indeed. A mug. a mug. So this is good early morning vocabulary with Star Wars. Chewbacca. Yes, with Star Wars. Yes. Hello, Claudio. Welcome, welcome. Claudio good morning. Moldana. Good morning and cheers. Cheers. Yes, I am having herbal tea. Herbal tea. I nice. don't have a Chewbacca mug, though. But I have a nice mug. Claudio. It's very, it's a very nice mug. Are, what are you drinking? Is it tea? Is it coffee? Is it hot chocolate? Is it PG tips? And it our other question is, where are you from? Mm -hmm. From Molden. Okay, we know he's from Molden. <laughs> do you like... Chess. So, Aaron, like this? let me ask you, where are you from and do you like chess? I'm from Ireland. Um, in particular, I'm from Cork in the south of Ireland. And yes, I do like playing chess. Ooh, you like playing chess. Mm -hmm. So, the question is, where are you from and do you like chess? So, Hello, I'm Monique. Yeah. Yes, I am from Los Angeles, California, um, United States of America, North America, the planet world. Earth, the world, the universe, <laughs> the multiverse. Yes, you do. How cool. Claudio likes chess. I'm so happy. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers, yes. Aaron and I have played chess once. And I will not say who won, who <laughs> lost. But just it so a, we, it was an intense game. It was a long game, four it days. Was a long game, four days. So just so we see here, what chess is? Chess. Aaron, can you read that? Chess, uh, a game for two players with sixteen pieces uh, and one king per side. The objective is to win. Exactly. The objective is to win. So, Claudio, that is fantastic. Very happy. If anyone else is joining us, tell us where are you from and do you like chess? Aaron, chess. is that a chess set? It is a chess set. This is a chess set. This is a chess board. And these are chess pieces. Excellent. Excellent. Beautiful game. So before we start, we thought let's do a little review here of the verb to be in the present tense. So we thought we will read it through for you to review a little bit of pronunciation before we begin. So we'll do the left hand side subject verb. Oh, no problem, Claudio. Don't worry. We will be here for the next 50 minutes. Come back anytime and have a beautiful day. So, contracted is I'm. So, Erin, mm -hmm. can you read the top line? Uh, verb to be, present tense. I am. And? Oh, I thought you were gonna read that. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I'm. Okay, fantastic, yes. <laughs> so, you are, your. your. He, she, uh, she, it, no, wait. She, <laughs> he, it is. She's, he's, it's. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Just to be a little bit less patriarchal, I tend to put she before he. Just to change it, right? Just to. No, as it should be. As it should diversify, be. diversify. Absolutely. It's just I'm not used to it, so. Exactly. Um, we are, we're, this one is 
weird, right? Weird, 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 weird. The other strange one sometimes is it's. It sometimes can be strange. And then we have they are there. Yes. So let's do that same thing again, but a little bit quicker. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I'll do the first line, you the second line, like etc. Okay. okay. And if you are viewing from home, try this at home as well. It's good practice for pronunciation. So I am, I'm. You are your. She, he, it is. She's, he's, it's. We are, we're. They are there. That was well Excellent. done. Let's Excellent. do it one last time, even a bit quicker. Okay, okay. ready? Yeah. You start. You start though. Okay. I am. I'm. You are your. She. He. It is. She's. He's. It's. We are. We're. They are. There. Yes. Fantastic. Lovely. Excellent job. Now let's go and see what we are doing this fine Friday morning. Mm-hmm. Which is also, mind you, um, it is Persian New Year today. So a happy no New Year. A happy Persian New Year to all our friends viewing from Iran today, if they are. And it's nice to celebrate together. There's always something to celebrate. So absolutely. Hello. Hi, Marcello. Marcello, welcome. We would like to know, Marcello, where are you from? And do you like chess? So I am from Los Angeles, and I love chess. Aaron? Chess. I am from <laughs> Ireland, and I love chess. Are you from Cork, Ireland? Yes, I'm from Cork, Ireland. Can you ask me? Where are you from, Monique? Are you from... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, yeah. <laughs> are you from Los Angeles? Yes, I am from Los Angeles. Are you from Los Angeles? No, I'm not from Los Angeles. I'm from Cork. You're from Cork, like yeah. cork on the bottle of wine. Yes, exactly. The cork that holds the wine inside. Mm-hmm. Generally, you remove the cork and never put it back. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> okay, um, Martello says he's from Lignano. Um, Excellent. I imagine near Milan. Yeah, fantastic. Great, Marcello from Legnano. So, Marcello, we have a question specifically for you. Do you like chess? Aaron will show what chess is. Let's do this. Oops, that's not the right. That is chess. Do you like chess? And I will read the description. Chess is a game for two players with 16 pieces and one king per side. The objective is to win. Woo! Yeah. Aaron, do you like chess? Yes, I love playing chess. I love playing chess too. Fantastic mm-hmm. game, fantastic game. It's a game right now. You know, my brother plays chess as well. Does he? Yeah, do you have a brother? Yes, I do. Um, his name is Dylan. And he is 19 years old. Wow. And my brother's name is Alex or Alexander. Mm. He prefers Alex. And he lives in Brooklyn in New York. And he is 37 years old. Let's ask our viewers. Do you have any brothers or sisters? What are are their names and uh, where are they from? Yeah. And my brother is an amazing chess player. Mm. He wins when we play. In fact, we've been playing Chess with Friends. Chess with Friends? It's an app that's a free app that you Mm. can play chess. Let's see if I can show it to you. Chess with Friends. It's quite nice. Like this. Can you you see that? Chess with Friends. Yeah, so if anyone at home likes chess as well, you can play Chess with Friends. Okay, lovely. So we can take chess off. Let us dive into this focus activity. Erin, what focus activity? Yes. Mine Mine and yours. Focus two to three. Yes. So mine and yours, yours and mine. Say that three times quickly. 
<laughs> mine and yours, yours and mine, mine and yours, yours and mine, mine and yours, yours and mine. Excellent. Mine and yours, yours and mine, mine and yours, yours and mine, mine and yours, yours and mine. Yeah, and it sounds like an Irish jig. Mine and yours, yours and mine. Do you dance Irish jigs? Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no. It's quite difficult to dance Irish jigs. Really? Mm -hmm. I've never tried. Yeah. No, I haven't either. But apparently there are some workshops and some places that um, do Irish dances in Italy. How cool. Um, I know this because one day in the train station, I met a lady from Galway and she was visiting Bologna because there was a Kaylee dancing workshop. What is Kaylee and how do you spell it? I'm not sure. Oh, no. <laughs> Irish um, I need to check the spelling of yeah Kaylee is K wait no I'm not sure actually okay we'll just say people in Ireland do Irish dancing let's say that People in Ireland do <laughs> Irish dancing. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. So let's dive in to mine and yours. Da -da. Can you read what this focus activity is about? In this focus activity, how to show possession, genitive S, and asking questions. Yes. And that girl is reading a book in the German language. <laughs> okay, yeah. excellent. So let's see what this is all about. Mine yeah. and yours. And okay. clearly she is showing possession of the book. So Exactly. So how can we say that she is showing possession of the book? Any ideas? She is showing possession of the book. For example, well, I can show you something that I have that I love. Can you see this? Wow, yes. That's a cap. Yes, it is a pink and white cap. And this is mine. Mm -hmm. That is yours. Thank you, yes. Can you share anything from over there? Yes, absolutely. Um, since I'm Irish. Uh-huh. Wow. This is, is that a, a shamrock? It's a shamrock pin, yes. Wow, shamrock. Is a shamrock a four-leaf clover? No, it's a three-leaf clover. Oh, you know, I didn't know that. Three-leaf clover. Yes, this is the symbol shamrock. of Ireland. Fabulous. I don't have any symbol here of the United States. Well, I sort of do. I have a baseball. That's <laughs> kind of. It's kind I mean, of. It's either simple. the United States or Japan. Really? Yeah, baseball is very popular in in Japan. Interesting. I didn't know. Yeah. Okay. So let's dive in here. And again, if anyone is just joining us, please share with us where you are from, and if you have any you brothers like and sisters. Do you like chess? How are you? Etc. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, whose is it? Hmm. What is whose? What is whose? Good question. What is whose? What is whose? What is? You know, there's a skit. Um, have you ever heard of it? It's called. It's, it's a very old um, comedy routine in the United States that says, who's on third? Because in baseball vocabulary, you have first base, second base, third base, and home. So, mm -hmm. but the player's last name is who's. So it's who's on third, what's uh, on fourth? And then you have what is the last name of the other player? It's really, really, really adorable. But anyways, what is who? So Aaron, what is whose or what does whose mean? It's a question word mm -hmm. uh, to ask for possession. Hmm. Yeah. So if so you say whose is this, the answer is it's Monique's, it's mine, it's yours. Lovely. And possession has four S's. 
does it? Possession. Yeah, that's a lot of S's. So whose is a question word to ask possession. So for example, whose chess set is that? Um, this chess set is Sophia's. No, that chess set is mine. Is it? <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> so this chess set is not mine, it's yours. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> and we changed the possession of all of our worldly oh, possessions all of a sudden changed completely. So yes, can you ask me a whose question? Um, whose is that mug? I don't know, <laughs> but I'm serious. What do you mean you're serious? I don't know. I think it's my roommate's or my hmm. flatmate's mug, but it was here when I moved into the apartment. Oh, I see. So you don't know who this mug is. I don't know. We don't always know the possession of things, but I quite like it. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Then I have another, this mug though is mine because I bought it. Look how ah. big it is. Wow, it is very big. Yes, it's much bigger than this random mug. I love it. Possession is a certain. Yeah, this is, this is a certain possession. I bought it at Casanova in the center of Bologna. Mm -hmm. And I love it because I can fill it with lots of tea and it lasts me a long time. Mm, mm. Extra large tea. Yes. Erin, is this mug yours? No, it's not mine. It's yours. That is correct. <laughs> it is mine. I spent, I think, five euros. Wow. But maybe so it's four. definitely yours. It's definitely mine. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. And this phone? Whose, whose phone is this? It's not mine. And it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> so whose is this phone? This is my brother's old phone. Ah, it's okay. an iPhone 5S. Uh -huh. And it's my brother's old phone, which he gave to me, fortunately, because my iPhone had died. Ah. Yeah. So Terrible. Very lucky. Yeah. So, all right. Um, I have another possession. Oh, nice. Is that an alligator pen? It is an alligator pen or a crocodile pen. I'm still not sure. Let's make you big so we can see that. Do you think it's an alligator or a crocodile? Tell us in the comments. Yes. <laughs> is that an alligator? <laughs> Excellent question. Is that an alligator or a crocodile? Marcello is asking, how much is it? Very good. This is Very a question, question to ask for price. Yes. Is that an, okay, so the two questions, is that an alligator or crocodile? And Marcello is asking, how much is it? Erin, the floor is yours. Um, I think it's an alligator and I don't know how much it is because this was a gift. So my boss, Lisa, gave it to me as a gift. So I don't know how much it is. Wow, that is a very nice gift. Mm -hmm. What was the gift for? Um, good question. I can't remember. Okay, so we have Claudio. <laughs> oh, yes, I organized an event. Fantastic. It's yes. a beautiful pen. I actually also have a wonderful possession. Um, mm -hmm. Claudio, welcome back. No problem. We are happy you finished your, your phone call. We are sharing possessions because we're talking about mine and yours saying, whose is it? So can you ask me, Aaron? Who's, oh. <laughs> whose is it? <laughs> okay. It is mine. 
This uh-huh. is my unicorn pen. I bought it at Pilones in the center of Bologna. Mm-hmm. And I spent, okay, to answer Marcello's question, six euros. Uh-huh. So I would say it's a good price for a unicorn pen. I think it is an expensive unicorn pen, personally, pen. I spent six euros. For a pen, that. I suppose it's a bit expensive. Would you spend six euros for this? It's a very nice unicorn. It's but very nice for Maybe teaching. not six euros unicorn. Mm, but for teaching, it's very nice. Okay, Marcello says, okay. So we see the questions here. Is it yours? Yes, it's mine. No, it isn't mine. Okay, so let's dive in here and look at possessive pronouns. So can you tell us what is a noun? Mm, what a noun, is a noun? A noun is a word. It could be, for example, unicorn, um, book, um, pen, mug, horse, orange. Can you, can you out there viewing this tell us some nouns? Examples of nouns. So, for example, ooh, look at this. Is that loud? It's very loud. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. This is a tambourine. Okay. Sorry, Aaron. No, don't worry. This? That is a book. Yes. Can you read the title? The Four Agreements. It's an excellent book. Yeah, yeah, I recommend this. Um, let's see here. These? Ooh, drumsticks. Yes, these are my drumsticks. Oh. It was a gift from my friend Joelle. Uh-huh. Yeah. So let's take a look at these possessive pronouns now and read through them. So go ahead with the first row. I, mine. You, yours. He, his. She, hers. We, ours. They, theirs. Awesome. For example. Oh, good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Lisa. Thank you for joining us. I was just talking about my alligator or crocodile pen. Yes. Perhaps Lisa knows. Is that an alligator or a crocodile? Yes. Okay. Lovely. It's a beautiful, beautiful pen. It is. I think so, yes. too. So let's go back in here. And can you read the first uh, sentence? That dog is not my dog. Mm-mm. So that, not this, but that. That, that dog, dog is dog. not my dog. No. That dog is mine. Mm-hmm. This notebook is my notebook. So we'd like you out there to take a guess and tell us this notebook is my notebook. This notebook is what? This notebook is, Mm. this notebook is. mm. So you're going to write mm? I wrote mm. Yeah, this (laughs) notebook is. So can anyone out there tell us? In the meantime, I will show another. Um, Marcello, I think, completed already. Oh, yeah, nicely done. This is my kazoo, by the way. Wow, that's an amazing kazoo. (laughs) Thank you, yeah. Good, exactly, Marcello. This notebook is mine. Fantastic. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Now, Now we have plural. These flowers are not... Still talking about me. These flowers are not. What would that be? So this this notebook is mine. These flowers are not. Mm. For example, this mug is mine. Uh, oh no, this one's not. This mug is mine. <laughs> this <laughs> mug is not mine. Okay. Um, These cards are mine. This axe is mine. <laughs> Why do you have an axe? It's a fake axe. Um, okay. It's a toy. <laughs> okay. It was for a Halloween costume. 
Oh, very nice. So these flowers are not, what goes in there? These flowers are not, uh, let's see here. Aaron, what is this? Uh, I think that's a harmonica. Indeed. I don't play harmonica, but it does sound very soothing. It's like the blues immediately, right? Yeah, it's true. So, is that harmonica yours? Yes, this harmonica is mine. It was a gift from my former students. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So, shall we reveal it? Yes. All right. So these flowers three, are not three, two, one. Mine. mine. Okay. These flowers are not mine. We have a comment here from Lisa Smeridli. If it has a wider U-shaped snout, it's an alligator. If it has a more pointed V-shaped snout, it's a crocodile. Interesting. Thank you. So then what is that? Does it have a pointed a V-shaped snout. I Can would you... say, let's look that at this snout. very interesting, yes. I don't know, I, I feel like it's more of a U, right? It's hard to say, you would need another one to compare, to True. understand. It is beautiful pen though. Uh, Marcello is saying, yes? No, um, he mentioned a comment earlier, always mine. Oh, yes. Okay. He was so answering then, the yes, correct. Yes, good. So exactly. It's mine if it's singular. This is this orange is mine or these drumsticks. These drumsticks are mine. Um, good. Thank you, Lisa, for the, the helpful comment. That's good to know. Claudio has, Claudio a, has a question. Whose is it? Can I use uh, this also for people, for example, for boy or girlfriend. Can we use that? Who's, who's I... is more for possessions? So mm -hmm. let's say people no. are generally not possessions, right? Mm -hmm. So good question, but I would not use this question for a person. No. Yeah. So who's more for objects? So mm -hmm. who's Unicorn pen is this. Mm -hmm. Erin, whose unicorn pen is this? It's yours. Oh, yes, it is mine. Excellent. Or for example, whose model boat is this? I don't know. Whose model boat is that? It's mine. Is it? Yes. It was um, gifted to me by my friend who visited the Mauritius Islands. Wow, very cool. Okay, so Claudio, whose is more is for possessions? Not so much for people, right? We don't really own people, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, lovely. So let's move forward to you and yours. Can you read these three, Aaron? Yes. This is not your sister's coat. It's your coat. This is not your sister's coat. It's yours. Um, are these children your children? Right. So here, Claudio will notice that these are talking about people. However, it's the idea of owning your children, which in fact is a bit strange of a question. Yes. <laughs> are I these find children it quite strange. your children? Uh, um, Claudio has another question. Okay. okay um, for for yes. If it's a pet. I would use it. Whose dog is this? Or if, if I see a stray dog in the street, I could ask, whose dog is this? Right. So I could show this bird and Aaron could ask. <laughs> whose bird is this? This is my bird. Okay. So yeah, certainly you can. Yeah, good. Exactly. Yeah. For things or animals. Good. Things you strictly possess. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So it's about possession, right? So for example, if I hold up, i finished with the animals. Do you have any more animals? Oh, if yes, I hold I up, oh, you do. Okay, good. So we invite you to ask 
Can you make the question asking Aaron about that? What is that? Horse. Horse. So we invite you to ask Aaron. Mm, 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 mm. It's not easy, but mm, 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 mm. it's quite beautiful. I know, right? Yeah. Claudio, if I need to say for child that it is mine. Yes, you could say, Claudio, it is my child. The reason, though, is because it's a possession. Um, it is my I, child. Also, I would use the uh, personal pronoun he or she instead of it. Yes, uh, good point. Good point. So he is my child or she is my child. Right. If we go back here, let's remember um, Remember that these here, it is for objects. So it is for objects and not people, not people, right? So I hope that's clear for everyone. So you would say, right, exactly. Not so much, not so much, it is my child, but yes, she is my child. So if I see Aaron with a young boy, I can say, Whose boy is that? And I'd say he is my child. Do you have a child, Aaron? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. I mean, this is possible, right? We can all have children. Yeah, or absolutely. Not. And it absolutely. is your choice. Remember, mm -hmm. everyone, it is your choice. So let's continue here. So we have, oh no, show <laughs> Oops. So are these children yours? What about this next one? Okay, thank you, Claudio. So the next one is asking, this book is not mm, it's mm. Can you fill that in? Yes, with possessive pronouns. So, wow, Claudio, congratulations. Wow. Yes, congratulations. I have three children. Um, tell us their names. What are they called? Yeah, I don't have any children. No, I don't but have any children either. My mom has two children. My mom also has two children. Interesting. Is your mom's name Lillian? No, <laughs> my mom's name is Shirley. Nice. Oh, I love the name Shirley is lovely. Shirley, Shirley. Shirley, Shirley, yeah. Shirley. Where is your mom from? She's from Cork. Oh, is she? And my mom is yeah. from New York. Ah, fantastic. Which rhymes with Cork. Cork, mm. New York. Yes, it's true. Yeah. I my mom. That. Yeah, my mom is from New York and she is from the Bronx. The Bronx. Yeah, which is the north part of the city of New York. Yeah. So what would you call the Bronx? Is it a I neighborhood? It is a it a borough? borough? The Bronx is one of the five boroughs. Because yesterday, yesterday we had a um, we had a webinar with Alex, and we oh. talked to them talked about them as neighborhoods, but they're not neighborhoods. Well, they're... neighborhoods are different. They're, the New York City is divided in five boroughs. One mm. of the boroughs is the Bronx. Another uh -huh. borough is Manhattan. Another mm -hmm. borough is Brooklyn, where my brother lives, right? Mm -hmm. Neighborhoods, though, are it's much smaller. There's a zillion neighborhoods. There are many neighborhoods. So, Claudio, very nice. Leonardo, Andrea, and Marco. Hello to all your three children. Fantastic. Three boys. Yeah, excellent. And Marcello is saying, mine and yours. Let us see here. This book is not mine. Mine. Fantastic. Well done, up. Marcello. Well Great done, Marcello. job, Marcello. Excellent. So let's move forward here to he, his, she, hers. So go ahead, Aaron. Is this David's phone? Question mark. <laughs> I will do a screenshot of that to send to you. <laughs> yeah. Is this David's phone? Yes, it's. Question mark. So now we have the third person. So remember, third person, he, she, or it. But we're talking about a person. So 
Is this David's phone? Good, Marcello, fantastic. Is this David's phone? It's his. Great. Excellent. Next one, Aaron, can you do the honors? Are these Sarah's glasses? Yes, they are blank. Good, Claudio, yes, it's his with apostrophe S, exactly, it's his, so it's. Let's complete this one. It is, good, it is. It's, it is. Okay, fantastic. So, Aaron, are these my glasses? Um, yes, they are yours. Indeed. They are mine and they are very, very old. Are um, those your glasses? Yes, they are. They are mine and they are quite old. Lovely. Let's see here. Claudia and they are quite dirty as well. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> Claudio is suggesting theirs. Let us see. Are these Sarah's glasses? Yes, they are. So, um, yes and no, Claudio, because they can be used when you don't know the gender of the person. If you don't know if it's a man or a woman, you can use the pronoun they as a singular pronoun. However, in this case, we are talking about one person. Are these Sarah's glasses? So not theirs, but what would it be? Are these Sarah's glasses? Yes, they are. So the possession refers to Sarah. Yeah. Right. So we uh, assume that she's a girl. Exactly. So for example, Erin, is that your Maya's shirt? Yes, it's mine. Okay, nice. And it was a gift. It was a gift. Yes, well done, Claudio. Well done, Claudio. Good, Claudio, exactly. So are these Sarah's glasses? Yes, they are hers. Excellent. And notice without apostrophe, yes, hers. Okay, the, this coffee is not his. It's... That's not so obvious. Maybe let's reveal it. Right, exactly. Marcello, very good, because she's a woman. Okay, because she is a woman, right. I like how you capitalize woman. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, let's put it with a capital. Remember the, the article though, she is a woman, but okay, nice. So the next one, maybe let's reveal it because it's not obvious. It could, it could be, be anyone. It could yeah. be mine, yours. Ta -da. Hers. Hers, okay. Okay, so this isn't Jane's house. These are a little bit not evident, right? No, right. it could be mine, it could be yours, it could be his, it could be hers, ours, theirs, who knows? This isn't Jane's house, it's, I would say it's mine. <laughs> this isn't your house, it's mine. It's this my house, get out of my this house. This isn't your alligator pen. It's mine. Wait, no, this is my alligator pen. Here, well, we could exchange pens. Would you like to? <laughs> uh, no, I love my alligator pen. I actually have two unicorn pens. Ah. Okay, Marcello That's why you want to exchange asking. it. Yeah, exactly. Can I use theirs? This, that isn't Jane's house. It's theirs. It depends who you refer to. Sure. Maybe it's um, it's not, maybe it's Aaron and Sophia's house. So then yes, you can. So yes, you can. Um, Marcello is saying four questions. Okay, we are ready for your four questions. Unless he, he refers, can I use theirs for questions? Oh, oh, oh. Yes. As in for, for, um, for. It's, is that theirs? What would we talk about? Is that, is that, but it would probably be plural. Well, is that, uh, is that stereo system? For example, we're at a concert and I'm saying, that's a nice stereo system. Whose is it? Is it theirs? Is that stereo system theirs? So yes, you can use it for questions, absolutely. Let us move forward. So they say his, but again, 
really any of these are good. Mm. So it's not mine, it's yours. Let's review here, Aaron. Uh, is it yours? No, it isn't mine. I think it's hers, I think it's his. So let's see here. Uh, Marcello, is this yours? Is it yours? <laughs> we'll see if he types in the comments. Yeah, exactly. It's a, and we realize too, it takes time to type. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Monique, Monique, yeah. is this yours? Um, can I see it? Can you bring it up close to the screen? What does it say? It's not wise to upset a Wookiee. Amazing. No, that is not mine. Is that yours? Yes, it's mine. Good. Okay. Marcello says yours. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. This is mine. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. Um, let's see here. Is this... So this is a highlighter. Oh, highlighter. yes. Yeah. So I is it say, is it yours, Monique? Yes, this is a highlighter, and it is mine. Yes, I think it is mine. Yeah. Let's talk yeah. about my chess or this chess Ooh, set. Wow, is that chess set Lisa's? Uh, no, it isn't Lisa's. It's Sophia's. Ooh, very nice, lovely. Okay, let's jump ahead and read here, is it yours? Aaron, would you do the honors? Mm -hmm. Is it yours? Are they yours? Depending if it's singular or plural. Um, no, it isn't mine. No, they aren't mine. I think it's hers. I think it's his. Yeah, so just for practice, for pronunciation, I'll read it as well. Is it yours? Are they yours? No, it isn't mine. No, they aren't mine. I think it's hers. I think it's his. Okay. I think it is, or I think it's contracted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lovely. If there aren't questions, I suggest we move forward. I to think, yeah, good. They, we, they. So your photos are great. Hmm. Hmm. This is really not easy. <laughs> no. You can take a guess, but let's reveal it for them. Oh. Ours. Ours. Ours are terrible. Okay. So let's These now we're cats. talking animals. Go for it. These cats are not ours. They are. Mm. It could be theirs. It could be yours. It could be ours. No, not ours. But, uh, <laughs> These cat are not these cats are not ours. They're ours. They're ours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're theirs. What about the next one? Can either can anyone uh, suggest what the next one would be? This is not our apartment. It's this is not our apartment. Comma. It's. What can go in there? This is not our apartment. It's, mm, let's see, I also have a postcard Ooh. from. Where is it? Valencia? Yeah. Is that postcard yours? Yes, this is mine. It's a nice postcard. No? Yes, very nice. And it is empty on the back. Oh. Yeah. I never sent it to anyone, but. I like Valencia very much. Have you been I've to not, Valencia? No, uh, I, I don't think I've ever been to Spain. Wow, it's a lovely, lovely country. I must visit. Yeah, one of my closest friends lives in Barcelona. Her name's Aisha, I spoke to her yesterday. And guess where she is? Um, is she in Europe? Yes, she's in Spain, but guess oh. what city? Is she in Barcelona? Yes, she is. And guess where she is in Barcelona? Um, Think I... about where we are. Is she at home? Yes, she is at home indeed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let us reveal this is not our apartment, it's theirs. theirs. Okay, lovely. Last one, Aaron. 
These are not their tickets. I think they are. Drum roll. Actually, I have my drumsticks. Ours. Yes, ours. Okay, lovely. Are there any questions? If there are, feel free to write any questions about possessive pronouns. Um, any questions you have are valid and good. We are here for you. So let's see a gap fill. So we have six different sentences and we want you to guess what the correct possessive pronoun is. So, so when you write the answer, put one and then right next to it. So why don't we read through it alternating? Mm -hmm. uh, so number one, stop. Those are not your glasses. They are mm, blank. Blank. Um, our car is old, but mm -hmm. is new. Yes. My computer is a PC, but <laughs> is a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have any chocolate. It's all. <laughs> Are these tickets? Uh, is this coat? <laughs> wow, that was fantastic. So we, we need to do this in lessons as well. Yeah, exactly. So we invite you to answer them. Um, at home so stop these are those are not your glasses they are so remember these and those mm -hmm. this and that that these and these those. This, and those that these and those so plural plural and Singular. So as you're thinking about that, I can share and show this. This and that, singular. These and those, plural. Plural. Yes, yeah. very good. Thank you. So let's go back in here to the gap fill. Um, voila. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so any guesses? Stop. Those are not your glasses. Hello. Aaron, stop. Those are not your glasses. They are hers. Yeah, good. Hers. Okay, number two. Aaron. Our car is old, but... Mmm... Can you read it a couple times with different intonation? Our car is old, but mm is new. Our car is old, but is new. Pardon? Our One car more. is old, but <laughs> mm is new. Good. So what could that be? Let us reveal it. Three, two, one. There's... Our car is old, but theirs is new. Okay, I'll read the number three, mm -hmm. three times, and you can mm -hmm. guess what the possessive pronoun would be. My computer is a PC, but mm, is a Mac, talking about Johnny. My computer is a PC, but mm, is a Mac. My computer is a PC, but mm, is a Mac. Oh, we have some answers from Claudio. Thank you very much, Claudio. Claudio, nice job. All of a sudden, woo. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am, as we say. Very good. His is a Mac. So, Aaron, can you read number four yes. with Claudio's answer? Let's see if it sounds right. You can't have any chocolate. It's all mine. Oh, yes. Excellent. It's all mine. And I will read five. Are these tickets... So, Claudio, it's plural. So, is it our or ours for so plural? So, our is the adjective. Ours is the possessive, is the pronoun, sorry. Mm -hmm. In this case, we need a pronoun. Yeah, so are these tickets ours? Yes, they are. And the last one, go for it, Erin. I can't read it. 
Oh, it says, oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> is this coat yours? Yes, is this coat yours? Fantastic, great job, excellent. So we have reached the end of our webinar. We thank you very much for being with us. We wish you a fantastic day. Keep being positive, keep eating healthy, and keep studying English. And we will see you soon for another webinar. Thank you, Erin. Thank, thank you, you everyone. Monique. Thank you, Claudio. And thank you, Marcello. And thank you, Lisa. And have a beautiful, beautiful day. Goodbye. Bye-bye.